In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We say all together, you are so lovely. We are so different, but we are all one body and one spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is really good to have this life too. In my in the library, small library, there's one book is so you know the uh, precious for me, and uh, I I love it. And probably uh, most of the books, uh, normal books, I mean you know clean or old, but just just this one book is a uh, a bit you know the old now. This book probably you guess you know what which book is my personal Bible, <laughs> okay. This is very precious for me. You know why? Left side in English version, and right side in my you know home country language in Korean version. So sometimes matching, but sometimes no. But <laughs> anyway, I love it. I love it. So when I either uh, happy or when I not happy, anyway, any times I take and uh, and uh, read it continually. I hope you have a beautiful, you know, the oh many you know books that you prefer. So that is, I think, is very very important in our life. We have many things, but sometimes, sometimes, uh, something or someone guides us, leads us, or protects us. That is really important. No, uh, for somebody probably one of an uh, angel or etc. But how? Important, the word of God guides us, leads us, and protects us if we read it continually. In uh, Jewish times and today too, most of the time we say uh, Christian, and uh, regularly we come to the church and we have a worship. But our mentality, our thinking, many other things probably. It's very similar, like uh, you know the old testaments, you know mind. That means today, uh, you know, the, the tells us uh, uh, these scriptures about we need to update from the old to new. I mean, you know, the old testament tells us about love your neighbor. That neighbor is not you don't know somebody. That neighbor means your family, your relatives, your you know the tribe, which God has chosen. So today, neighbor is not that meaning. Neighbor meaning you don't know them. Absolutely no. So probably we are crisis now. How can accept? Jesus' word. Jesus came here in this world, not to explain what you know the, in Old Testament said everything. No, but he explained what Old Te Testament said. But it's more important. He wants complete, perfect word, which he, he wants to give us. So if we Believe Jesus' word, we could understand, but the practice is probably is impossible sometimes. Jesus said, "Once upon a time, you have learned how it was said, 'Eye for eye and tooth for tooth.' Today, you and I, absolutely, we do the same things. We are sometimes slavery about this law. How could accept Jesus' word?" But he said, "I say this to you: Offer the wicked man no resistance. On the contrary, if anyone hits you on the right cheek, offer him the other as well. No, no, we cannot. This is happened, you know, in the, in the children. If you go outside, somebody give you the, you know, the hit your cheek. You want to respond quickly." This is normal, isn't it? But how 
we accept this you know Jesus word but we believe Jesus is the savior Jesus is the son of God how could accept somebody hurt me hurt one of my you know the family members or relatives many times not many times always we cannot accept to forgive them or to love them this is impossible you have learned how it was said so in old testament said old mentality you must love your neighbor your neighbor is your family member your relatives no more you must love your neighbor and hate your enemy outside of the, your family members is uh, considered like uh, enemies but jesus said i say this to you love your enemies i cannot maybe you probably you are more holy men and holy women so you could do but jesus not just tells us what we cannot do but he give us answer too now the answer is this one but i say this to you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you the key of uh, today's scripture is this one the prayer how many times we pray not just you know the, to love the uh, enemy normal life this morning early as usual i went to the open the you know the uh, saint hugh church to switch on the boiler i saw one you know the child who you know the played football in the other side the uh, community center i was i was thinking oh this time why he was there alone maybe he loved football so automatically come to me andrew what do you like what do you love in your life he loves football so doesn't matter time or cold weather or no nothing passionate so if god asks me or you what you respond what do you like what do you love in your life may maybe different you know the answer but it is so important we go we will be what we what we think what we want what we love what we like obviously if you love to listen the word of god to have a holy communion jesus body jesus plus is in your heart your body obviously this body is always the, the temple of god but if you think other things probably your future will be there so love your enemies and pray pray for those who persecuted you in this way now happened something in this way you will be sons and daughters of uh, your father in heaven for god good or less good all the same god loves us for me and for you we divided distinguish he is good he is not she is a nice girl she is a bad girl this is our mentality who gave us to judge them so where is god's heart god's love first reading we could understand a bit about god's heart the lord spoke to moses he said speak to the whole community of the sons of israel 
and say to them, Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. My dear brothers and sisters, God loves indeed. So if we believe Him, if we love Him too, why not? We listen His word and we receive His body and His blood in our life. Because one day, one day, we will be all holy and perfect. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.